<laughs> Tukiko. No, keep away. <laughs> Tukiko. <laughs> <laughs> to go die! Ah! Oh, it's a dream. Oh, what a horrible dream. The dream that Tomie was here, she turned into a monster in this very room. Tachi and Kimada came and chopped her head off. Duh! It's the blood stain it's still there. Just like that night. So I didn't dream it. And it figures. I better get mom and dad home. Should I call them now? That's what are we gonna Are we still gonna kill Tsukiko? Oh yeah, we have to. We have to do what Tommy says no matter what. I hope she didn't squirm loose overnight. Don't worry, I tied her like a sailor. Besides, it's still darn early. Let's hope her family isn't back yet. But Tommy's head, that was something else. No kidding. What are we supposed to do? Burn it or take it home? If she could just make up her mind then. Hey, touch it. That guy's been tailing us for a while now. What? What's your business? I've come to see Tomie. What the? Who are you? Please, let me see her. I need to see her. I'll go insane if I don't. The phone line's been cut. That must have been a goodbye present. There's a phone booth, I'll just, but it's kind of far. So first dad, then straight to the police. Wonder if it's still a murder if she walked away from it. Oh. You bastard! We'd like, like we'd let a schmuck like you anywhere near Tomie. What's that about Tsukiko? I don't remember telling you to kill anyone. Please, just once let me see her, just once. Shut up. Yamazaki, right? Don't ever show your face again. <sighs> Yamazaki? Come on, hurry up. We don't want Tsukiko to get away. Yamazaki, Yamazaki, you're, they're just a couple of thugs. Ow! Why are you helping me? What? I tried to kill you. That's funny, I think they smacked me back to my senses. Tsukiko, take me to the police, will you? I tried to kill you, you know. Damn it, Tsukiko's loose! Which way did you go, though? Duh. Huh? It's them. Hey, he's gone, too. Not sure we should just let him wander around. Eh, well, he's an accomplice, you know. Should be okay. But shouldn't we shut him up? It's all right. We did. It's all right. We'll get rid of them both. You go north. I'll search south. Quick. Tsukiko, really, take me to the police. Now's our chance. Yamazaki, you need medical treatment. You're terribly hurt. There's an emergency medical kit at home. Oh, no. You've got a fever. Even with two killers in my, on my tail, I thought... Uh, when I thought of the police station, I hesitated. The thought that Yamazaki could be arrested, that kept me away. I didn't even contact my parents, let alone the police. Ah, oh, darn it, I forgot to lock the door. 
Oh no, this is awful. Those jerks. Easy now. I'll get what I'll get a water bottle and a jiff. I didn't know what else to do. Rattle. Well, the kitchen's intact. Good grief. Oh no, my camera's gone. Those... Ah! Of course, they thought I took pictures of their murder. That would have been clever of me when I was tied to a table leg. I'll probably be back eventually. Ding dong. ba bump. It can't be them. The Chica. The Chica, what is it? Hey, Chiquico. What is it? Sheesh. I just swung by to check up on you. You know it's Sunday, right? Is that an ice pillow? You got a fever? Just come on in. Do you see anyone out there? See? What? See anyone? Why would I have... Oh. Yamazaki, lift your head a little, okay? Yamazaki? Oh, hey, it's Kika, what's happening? Tell me. Why is he here? Why? I don't know. It's Kiko. Don't be coy. If you guys are already a thing, just tell me. Since when? No, it's not it. What's not what? Look, he just happened by, that's all. Oh, well, fine. But he looked sick. Did you call a doctor? No, uh, it's just a fever, that's all. Chico, thanks for coming over today. No problem, but I guess I'm not wanted here. God, what do I do? Should I bring her up to speed on all this mess? But that might rope her in. That's not fair to her. <coughs> hmm? What's wrong, Chico? You look so gloomy. That's not like you. Oh, I see. You're embarrassed. How cute! I hope you don't mind me asking, but well... Have you kissed? You kissed? Machiko, what's... Now's your chance. Hey, Machiko, that's not cool. Why are you saying these things? Yamazaki and I aren't involved in that way. Don't joke like that, all right? Especially not when he's sick with a fever. Huh? I I'm sorry. I thought you might be depressed, suspended from school and all. So seeing him here got me excited. Chico, I can't explain right now. I'm sorry. I really don't think you should be here. You'd better leave now. So Chico, you shouldn't be here. Would Chico, please get far away from this condo fast. To Kiko. But uh, I'm sorry, Michiko. I know why she was so thrilled. Under normal circumstances, it would seem exciting. Alone with a guy I have the hots for. Darn hot. To Kiko. You're awake? How are you feeling? Not bad. How's your eye? Not bad. I washed it with water right away. But what about Tomie? Huh? She's here, isn't she? I heard her voice. She called my name. But, uh, we're, we're the only ones here. It must have been a dream. <laughs> You've been here the whole time? Yeah, I'm watching. Just rest. Why? I tried to kill you. Why are you being so nice to me? It's getting late. Whoosh. Yamazaki, you'd better eat something. How about some porridge? Matsukiko? Yeah? Will you stay by my side for a while? Ah, uh, looks like she's back. Squeak. It just won't go down. <laughs> it's 
told me hey, she's calling me. Yamazaki? Takiko! Blum. Oh! I was right. She's here, Tomie. She's here somewhere in this house. Help me. She's calling my name. It's not a dream. You must have heard it, too. She's not here. I told you. We're all alone. You're dreaming. It's the fever doing it. Come on, lay down. Takiko. Yamazaki. 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 Huh? It's Tomie. She's calling me. Yamazaki. Yamazaki. Where are you, Tomie? Aki Yamazaki. 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 Yamazaki, don't. Please keep away from that room. Yamazaki. Tomie? Yamazaki. It's me. Yamazaki. Show yourself. Yamazaki. Ah. Uh, she's there. Tomie. Tomie. The carpet? Why is it doing that? It was right around where Tomie had been killed. The carpet had soaked up far too much blood. Tomie. Gurn. Shrip. Shrek. Shrip. Shrek. His lips belong to me. Tee -hee. Tell me, what what are you? Tee -hee -hee. Yamazaki is all mine. We're in love. You are a bystander. Leave us. This room is ours. It will be our love nest. Yamazaki, kiss me again. Hey, don't! I pity you, Tsukiko. Stop it, Yamazaki, snap out of it. Sprack! Kimata? Zhao! <laughs> Kimata, no! <laughs> you sure live a long way up. You know, I could just shove a, li shove a little and it would look like suicide. Hey, look who else I've got here. What's up, Yamazaki? What are you doing down there, huh? Heck, this sure saves me some trouble. Yamazaki? Let's do you first, Yamazaki. Rip. Yamazaki! Come on, Yamazaki, run! Yank. Not getting away! Huh? T Tomie? Kimata. What have you done? Barging into my room, breaking my window, look at me, I've got glass in my face. Tell me what do you do when you wound someone? I 
I'll treat it right away. Don't come near me. Zomie, keep away. Your grime will come off on me. You're filthy. Dirty, vulgar, rude. You're the worst. You're repulsive. Stop rubbing it on my face. Y yes, I'll be more careful. You don't have to. Not anymore. I have no use for you. Now get out. Take that iron pipe and take yourself on a long, long trip. Huh? Yamazaki Kimara Crump Yamazaki Yamazaki Huh? Ah! Tomie! Tomie, it's me, I'm here. Yamazaki, hold me, please. Please get me out of here. Rip, right, hang on. Shrimp. It's Kiko. It's Tukiko. She locked me in here. I'll, I'll help you get out now. Look. I'm so happy, Amazaki. Now we can live together. This room will be our world. Uh, what's wrong? I, I can't get her out. What's this filmy stuff? We'll even raise our children here. Tee hee hee. Tomie, what a ghastly woman. Well, not woman. I mean, whatever she is. It keeps appearing again and again. Like a lizard's tail that keeps growing back. However often you cut it off. It's always that same face. Could she be a ghost? Those bizarre pictures, would that make them psychic photos? Or is she a witch? Whatever she is, she's got Yamazaki utterly spellbound. Yamazaki, please wake up. You poor girl, so many shards all over your face. I'll remove them for you. No, no, don't, don't do that. Oh no, the blood. Blood. I'd better get you out of there. Officer, it appears the boy fell from that window. Did you see it happen? No, not a thing. Do we have any witnesses? Oh, this is terrible. How did this happen? Everybody, please move back. Ah! Huh? She's dead! I've killed her! Tomie's dead! Flop. Flop. Yamazaki, no, it's not your fault. Hey, there's the guy. Third floor, where's the entrance? This is the only passage. That's it. Ding dong. Tachi? Kamata just fell out. Clatter. There's a woman, too. Murmur. Ding dong. Open up, it's the police. Bam, bam, bam. Open the door. What the hell's going on here? Oh, it's soaking wet. 
There's a dead boy down below. Now we come up here and what's this? Is it blood? The carpet? The walls? Can you explain any of it? I told him everything. I described how Tommy was killed in front of me and how she came back to life. How the killers then came after me. How Tommy reappeared from under the carpet and how Kamada leapt of his own accord. Hey, you! Come on, this is no time for practical jokes. I know, but that's how it happened. I know there's no reason for you to believe me. But what do you make of that, then? Hey! What are you trying to say? It's just a plastic bag. Come on! That's impossible. I looked more closely. He was right. Just a normal sheet of plastic. The kind that you tack down under the carpet. Na 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 na. My dear girl, please stop weeping. But father... Huh? You, first you come home with your uniform all dirty, now you're crying your eyes out. I can't bear to watch, you look so miserable. Father, I just can't stand it. Can't stand what? Tell me. She said I'm sick, but that's not all. What a terrible thing to say. She called me a monster. Her name is Chikiko Izumisawa. Izumi she circulated my picture, the ugliest photos ever. Oh, just forget all that. Father, I'm quitting school. I don't want to go anymore. I can't forgive and, I, and forget. I'm so angry. Several days later, I'm telling the truth. He broke in through the window. He must have climbed up the drain pipe or something. And you're saying he did this because you witnessed them committing a crime? Yes. And whereabouts and the whereabouts of the second boy named Tachi are currently unknown. Mm -hmm. Well, as for Kimata, we have a witness. He committed suicide, so that's all right. Now the blood the we've tested the blood from your room and it turns out it is human. That's right, it's Tomie's. It would seem not. Our investigation tells us she came to school the day after the incident to submit a notice of withdrawal. So, it doesn't appear she has any connection with this. If that's so, then it must be someone else's blood. On the other hand, we have no victim yet. That doesn't even match the second boy's blood type. Now, since it's human blood, we can't just ignore it. Due to sheer quantity, the victim can't possibly have survived. That's discounting your suggestion of a monster, of course. But, well, without a body, there's nothing more we can do. Whatever you guys did, if there's a crime, it's just shrouded in too much mystery. We'll talk to Yamazaki at the hospital when he recovers. I don't think pressing you will change anything at this point. Now all we've got is a case without a victim. Let's go, let's go. Tsukiko, is it true you're leaving school? Yeah, I swung by to say goodbye. How come? I caused a lot of trouble. Anyway, it seems, it feels uncomfortable living in that condo anyway, anymore. We're just going to move where my dad is stationed. I guess it was the divine judgment. But what's the rush? I'm so sorry, Michiko. Here, take this. What is it? It's a parting gift. Kurosawa's photo, it's all yours. A lot of his pictures came out unscathed. Some of them are very good. Tsukiko! 
what are you going to do now? Well, I think I'll go visit Yamazaki in the hospital. It was rough on him, too. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of worried about him. The inve investigation isn't, it still isn't over. You know, Tsukiko, I believe you. I mean your story. You'll always be my best friend. Thank you, Michiko. Slowly now. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Shin. Ah, forget about it. When my sister-in-law moves, I help her. It's one of those natural laws. How's Tsukiko? She's taken off one last look at her school. Really, I'm not at... I'm not enough to keep her in line. It seems we need a man in the house after all. By the way, can you do something with that carpet? No way we're taking it with us. <coughs> okay, hey. Can you get that carpet too? <clears throat> Yamazaki, I'm glad you don't need that eye patch anymore. Huh? Oh, yeah. I, I think I'm rid of her at last. I caused you so much trouble. Nah, I've been wondering about that thing under the carpet. What was it, anyway? Yeah, I was thinking. It was Tomie's blood, which hadn't died. Blood? It was filled with so much longing for you, it used the plastic sheeting under the carpet. It filled it out and used it as its own skin. Those lips you kissed were the only transitioner... Transitionary, it seems. I guess that's my only consolation. Consolation, huh? A truly bizarre investigation. One unusual object found at the crime scene was a plastic sheet with a clear imprint of a human face. One theory is the perpetrator pulled the plastic over the victim's head, suffocating her before dismembering her. Some people interviewed claim that the plastic is likely to be an exact mold of the victim's face. She has yet to be found. In other words, uh, in other words, I'm still a suspect. Yamazaki, you'd better get your rest. <sighs> When I woke, I noticed some additions to my scenic pile of junk. That carpet. I wonder who dumped it. Gives me a weird feeling. Vroom. Boom. As the day wore on, my premonition proved solid. That swelling doesn't seem natural. Roof. <sighs> Spreading itself across a pile of junk, the carpet revealed irregular grouping of lumps. What does it mean? What are they? Shump. Shriek, shriek. Little by little, day by day, slowly but surely they grew. I knew where I'd seen that carpet before. Of, of that, there was no doubt. Though they faced away from me, I knew exactly what they were. You'd think someone would notice, but who looks like who looks at a dump anyway? And somehow, I didn't feel like telling anyone. The time would eventually come. At that moment. I'd sneak away from my bed. Oh, hell. They finally noticed me. Oh, this is it then. As one, they turned to me, their hands extending, groping, searching, their voices. I hear them. I can hear them shriek. Yamazaki, hold me. Yamazaki, Hold me! Kiss. The end.